In this video we're going to make a cookie cutter. So I'm going to start on my XY plane start a sketch. I want to make this cookie cutter out of a logo to make this more interesting. So I'm actually going to uh, go to Google and then let me think about a logo real quick. So let's do a uh, something simple. Let's do Adidas. Uh, no, Adidas is too broken up. What is a good logo? Nike, Nike logo. So Nike SVG. So we need an SVG to import. So images Nike SVG. I'll click one. We'll see what we come up with. Um, logo file. Logo Nike SVG. So I'll view the image. And this says it's a PNG file. So Let's see if we could get it SVG. So I open link in new tab, and then this says the original file is an SVG file. So I click original file, and we have an SVG. That is always a winner. So I'm going to right click that and save it. Hit save as. It's called logo Nike one. So I'm going to go back to Fusion. I'm going to insert SVG. Click my little folder to open up the SVG file, and then I'm going to search for my Nike logo Nike One dot SVG and hit open. Now there's my Nike logo. I think that's a good size for me. I'm going to move this so it's more uh, closer to my um, center point, my origin. So let me move it a little bit more up. Okay. Now I'm going to hit OK. We have our Nike logo, I could hit E to extrude it. Let me spin the object and then I'm going to extrude this up, let's say 0.75 inches, about three quarters of an inch. Hit OK. Now, in order to make this a cookie cutter, all I have to do is go to my create um, panel, actually, sorry, modify, and then use the shell command. And then click my face inside here, my top face. And then I need to shell this out. So let me see if I can move in here, move in a little more. Oh. Let's see if it'll let me do more than 0.1. The Nike logo is more difficult because it has to come out at an angle. Um, we're going a little crazy right now. So let's go 0.1. Oh, it selected all these faces. So let's deselect. Reselect our top face. 0.1 works. Let's try 0.2. Nope, oh, she doesn't like 0.2. So let's go 0.18. Doesn't like 0.18. 0.15. Point one is bigger than that, so let's go point oh eight. Point oh five. Point oh four. Point oh three. Point oh two. Let's try point oh one. So that's a nice cut, um, 0.01 shell thickness. So what I could also do is I could um, project the geometry on the inside and I can um, create an extruded figure through here. What a shell actually does is it creates a hole inside of here. So we're still actually going to have a closed bottom when we do this. So that's about what I want it to be at thickness wise for the walls. And I'm going to hit OK on that. And now I'm going to go to the base of it and I'm going to actually, I could shell it again or I could just cut it out. So I'm just going to do a extrude. And I won't be able to select that. So let's do a, um, let's do a sketch, create a sketch on this top face. 
and all I'm going to do is I'm going to project geometry. So I'm going to hit S to get to my sketch toolbox. I'm going to type in project and that's going to allow us to select all of our lines on the inside in order to actually uh, bring them over. So I'm just going to go through and click all my lines that are on the inside of this object. This line, this line, and yours. Oh. Okay. And yours might be a, uh, a little different mattering on uh, what logo you chose to use. So I'm going to hit OK and then I'm going to hit E to extrude that. So I'm going to go home, extrude this object, and I'm going to go all the way through here. And I'm going to change extents to all, make it a cut feature, and then I'm going to hit OK here. So for some reason here, we're not able to cut that out. Let me see here. We are extruding um, that body, make it a cut, objects to cut, auto select. I'll change it to distance. Maybe it's because we selected all. Select the profile. Okay. That's my profile. I want to go through this object. Then I'll hit OK and see if we get rid of that error. Nope, another error. Hmm. The profile reference is lost. Try editing a feature to reselect the profile. Hmm. So it's not picking up my profile. So I'm going to delete the extrusion. This is my sketch profile. That's what it's saying. It can't find this sketch right now. So that's kind of interesting that I'm getting an error for that. So let's go back into the sketch. And I'm just going to hit S again and then hit project. And then I'm just going to come in here and make sure we're projecting all of these lines. Okay. Now I'm going to stop my sketch, extrude select that face and let's go back to home and I'm going to cut through the bottom and I'm just going to change this to all again see if that does it hit OK and I believe we got through with no errors and I think that was our problem yep so we got through with no errors so now we have that object so I did start out I just realized I did start out with a 0.75 extrusion um, most people I know won't eat a cookie that is uh, three quarters of an inch high, but this is a good um, starting distance to go with. If you do want to do a 0 .5, um, 0 .5 extrusion, that might also work. Uh, if you did set some of your cuts or some of these other options like shell, if you did set them to certain distances, if you go back and change that, it might not work. This is our history bar down here, everything we've done. And you can use this little crosshair to back up to get rid of things we've done or to redo things we've already done. So that's a Nike cookie cutter, and this is ready to go to the 3D printer. So I could hit uh, Make 3D Print, select my cookie cutter, hit OK, and save this as Nike cookie cutter. And then I'm also going to save it on Fusion, so Nike Cookie Cutter. And we're good to go.